Economic statistics play central roles in domestic and international politics. Policymakers use them as yardsticks when they craft new plans. Politicians pepper their speeches with numbers about economic progress or doom. Citizens rely on these figures to gauge whether policies serve them well. And in global affairs, economic statistics are the grease on the wheels of international cooperation. But in spite of this air of objectivity, it's not at all clear how we should measure things like inflation, growth, debt, or unemployment. Alternative formulas would generate different numbers. The official measurement approach may thus benefit one group of citizens or country and harm the other without us noticing. My research asks, why do we measure the economy the way we do? And when we make those choices, how do they matter to our politics, both within countries and between them? Together with seven other researchers in the Fickle Formulas team, I have spent the past years investigating the political underbelly of economic statistics. These numbers don't capture economic phenomena that are simply out there, waiting to be measured. Rather, the official formulas we use define who counts as unemployed or what counts as debt in the first place. The bad news is that economic statistics suffer from pathologies that are rooted more deeply. By their very logic, when defining what qualifies as economic growth or inflation, they focus on things that are easily countable and tend to ignore hard-to-capture sides of our lives, even if those are important too. This countability bias has become worse since economic statistics flourished in the mid-20th century. The country-based economic image that statistics paint no longer fits the complex economic relations that crisscross the globe. Moreover, international measurement standards have a hard time capturing the on-the-ground realities in poor countries, where people may grow their own food, where labor markets are informal, and where a lot of economic activity remains out of sight. At the same time, everyday lives in rich countries, like the Netherlands, are more and more at odds with standard statistical measures. Our labor markets are much more flexible and complex than a few decades ago. Much production is about knowledge and not material goods you can put into boxes. Living standards go beyond material consumption and focus on soft factors. That means that statistics may systematically miss those things that are important to citizens and to countries elsewhere in the world. And if what gets measured is what matters in politics, then the unseen biases in our statistics are real cause for concern.